had these in my shed for years. And it says, hand earned by the polka playing skill of Joe Orish on Sunday, January 25th, 1965 at 6.15 p.m. Participating in game with the unfortunates Fred Velopec, Joe Davin, and Otto Orish. The first two were sportsmen enough to congratulate the winner. Lucky Andy Schmidt had left the game a happy winner. Just minutes earlier, Clint McCauley and Dog Candy were interested spectators. Moving on to the next one. It's a little bit beat up. It's hard to read, but here goes. It's April 5th, 1975. Of the all-time greats of Glendale, polka playing history, Andrew Schmidt entered the Polka Hall of Fame on this day. The polka session was a wild one, highlighted by four hands of four of a kind and climaxed by this masterpiece. Otto, who didn't get any of these hands, remarked about the poor card shuffling and had volunteered to supply a better deck of cards for next week. Mr. Fred Velopec and son Fred Rich from one of the community's leading families, unfortunately had to leave the game early due to a pressing social obligation and missed this historic event. And the next one, on December 13th, 1975, Fred Velopec welcomed into the Glendale Polka Hall of Fame due to making a royal flush after more than 10 years of effort we were all pretty sure he wasn't that bad a player and that someday he would make it, maybe even before his son Frederick. Unanimous congratulations was extended to Fred by the other players. At the game, Clint McCauley, Fred Jr., Andy Schmidt, Otto, and Joe Orish. Emma Orish missed the game due to leaving the game early because of bad hands and a deflated wallet. You see, they're pretty beat up. Um, and this is what we got. I just like to put them on YouTube here it's for family history. And there's the Glendale Poker Hall of Fame holders of Royal Flush. Unfortunately, I do not have the plaque welcoming my dad, Clint McCauley, into the Glendale Poker Hall of Fame in 1974. I suspect my Uncle Joe, who recorded, for history's sake, these wonderful plaques had presented it to Clinton McCauley to proudly display. I'd like to give thanks to Joseph Orish preserving a piece of family history.